Fraudsters, cheats, and swindlers are out there trying to steal your personal information. You may never see them or hear them because they're getting the information silently through your computer. But there's good news. You can take some simple steps to protect yourself. You, my friend, should not be an easy target. First, you should know the tools used to steal personal information. Phishing. Great for the lake, but not in your computer. Fraudsters will attempt to acquire usernames, passwords, and credit card details by masquerading as a trustworthy person or a company contacting you by email. Malware, short for malicious software, helps hackers disrupt computer operations, gather sensitive information, or gain access to a computer system. Swindlers constantly tweak these tools, making them more difficult to detect and more lucrative if they get access to your information. Keeping your internet security software as up-to-date as possible protects against the latest threats that have been discovered. Set your computer to automatically update your security software as updates become available. Don't respond to pop-up messages or unsolicited emails asking you to protect your computer, especially those that claim they've detected a problem. They're trying to trick you into downloading their malware so they can either charge you for worthless software or make a clear pathway to access your information. If you don't know who's sending you these emails, don't click on them and download their malware. Your computer may be infected with malware if it slows down, crashes, or displays repeated error messages, won't shut down or restart, serves up a barrage of pop-up windows, displays web pages you didn't intend to visit, or sends emails you didn't write, displays an unexpected toolbar or icon on your desktop, your internet homepage suddenly changes, the laptop battery drains more quickly than it should, if you suspect malware has invaded your computer, you should stop online shopping, banking, or doing other online activities that involve usernames, passwords, or other sensitive material. Take a moment to update your security software. Then, run a scan on your computer for viruses and spyware. Delete anything identified as a problem. You may have to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. If your computer is covered by a warranty that offers tech support, contact the manufacturer. Write down the model and serial number of your computer, the name of any software you've installed, and a short description of the problem. Computer companies offer tech support several ways. Telephone and online help are the least expensive because you do some of the work. Carrying your computer to a store or repair shop is usually less expensive than having a repair technician come to your home. Once your computer is repaired and running well, think about how to avoid downloading malware in the future. In a famous TV show episode, a dim-witted office manager calls the technician because he's forgotten his password. In two seconds, the technician finds it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Everyone laughs. Treat your passwords like cash. Don't make them so simple or leave them lying around. Think of something that's memorable for you, but hard for anyone else to guess. Use a mixture of upper and lower case letters combined with numbers or special characters. Change passwords regularly and don't use the same password for everything. If you do, you're making it too easy for fraudsters to break into every account you own. Be very careful when receiving emails from persons claiming to be from your financial institution or anyone asking for personal information. They may use official looking logos or try to scare you by saying your service will be suspended if you don't respond with the right information. If you're not sure it's legitimate, look up the company's phone number and call them to be sure. If you're shopping online, make sure the site's encrypted. When you see the S in HTTPS, that means the page is encrypted. Any pages that aren't encrypted could put you at a significant risk for stealing account information. Simple tools like verifying your monthly statement or using online banking can help you spot trouble early. You can also set up alerts that notify you when a transaction is processed above an amount that you've determined. Notify your financial institution right away if you discover a transaction that you didn't authorize. Stay up to date on the latest frauds and scams by visiting your financial institution's security or privacy page on their website. Making internet security part of your routine will stop fraudsters, cheats, and swindlers from preying on you. Business accounts need even higher levels of internet protection. Be sure that firewalls, anti-malware, and antivirus software are all up to date and working properly together, preventing unauthorized access to your network. 
where appropriate, use encryption so that only the person who's authorized to look at the information gets access to it. When possible, dedicate one computer to online banking and cash management functions. This computer should not be used for internet surfing, social networking, or email functions. Using this computer for those purposes increases the chances of malware or viruses. Educate all users about vulnerabilities so they understand that even one infected computer can spread serious trouble to the entire network. Pay attention when checking your mail. Always ask, does this email make sense? Don't open suspicious emails or ones that originate from unknown persons. Take extra caution with emails that appear to be from a financial institution or ask for personal information. If any suspicious email advises you to call a phone number, don't do it. Also, don't click on any links within the suspicious email or provide any personal information. Instead, contact your financial institution for guidance. Block access to high-risk websites. Establish individual user accounts and limit user capabilities to only those that an employee must have to complete their job function. Limit those with administrative access. Require complex user passwords, upper, lower case, numbers, and special characters. Change them on a regular basis. Quickly remove users whose employment has been terminated. Use dual control measures to limit actions that can be completed by a single employee. Finally, reconciling accounts every day with online tools can identify questionable activity very quickly. Making internet security part of your regular routine will protect you and your business.